I want to tell you how this meter local concept works. I arrive in a town, a stranger. I know no one. And in a limited amount of time, I must find a local person willing to let me tell their story. On a deeper level, it's my search for a common thread of goodness and humanity, and my belief that wherever I go, a crazy Aussie in a huge hat, I'll find good people. And it's a huge buzz getting that story. Noches estrellada, la de Nagambi, con gente que quiero, eso sí es vivir. Trae Lorin Lola y lo, trae Lorin Lola, trae Lorin Lola y lo, trae Lorin Lola, trae Lorin Lola y lo, trae Lorin Lola, trae Lorin Lola y lo, trae Lorin Lola. I've decided to give couch surfing a go. I'm staying with Nick Musgrave, an Englishman who left the world of corporate banking to pursue his passion for photography. I asked Nick what led to his decision to leave London and live in Barcelona. Something was not right. I was feeling very strange about being there. And then one morning I had a realisation what it was. Uh, I realised I could leave the, my apartment. I could walk up to the tube station at Bank. I could get on the Dockland Light Railway. I could go all the way to my office at Canary Wharf. I would pass, in Russia, in London, you would pass probably, I don't know, thousands, 10,000 people maybe. And I suddenly realized I could not make eye contact with one single person. I thought, this, this sucks. This is not the way a society is meant to be. I wanted to be somewhere where it was sunny and warm and uh, um, <laughs> dare I use the word cosmopolitan and uh, very quickly kind of narrowed it down to Barcelona I mean if you want to live in the sun be by the sea um, live in a very busy diverse international interesting stimulating kind of environment uh, really it's Barcelona it's always interesting to hear how people view their city Everyone has a different slant. I'd met Pilar de la Pina Sanchez out one night at a local restaurant. For her, the attraction of Barcelona is the action on the streets. One of the things that I most like about Barcelona is the velocity of the people. I mean, the people around, the prostitutes. If you go through the streets, it's like a film. It's like a film. It's like a film. It's like a film. Puedes sentir que hay africanos, negros, hay marroquines, hay turistas, hay españoles, hay gitanos y cada uno hace un, un performance de su vida o, o, o están haciendo su vida en ese momento, ya sea bien robar a los turistas, los, los ladrones de los picket pockets o ya puede ser el rumano haciendo un, un truco de magia para que el turista le suelte 50 euros o una prostituta diciéndote a ver si, si quieres tener sexo con ella. Es una, Barcelona es fantástica porque al tener una parte antigua y una parte moderna, mi favorita es la parte antigua donde sé que han estado, que la, por ejemplo, que ha vivido, ha habido bares, ha habido marineros, ha habido eh, guerras, ha habido batallas y, y ha habido gente que ha muerto y todavía se siente en, 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 de una forma que, que son fantasmas, que son como almas que que siguen rondando por esas partes, ¿no? Hay mucha bruma y mucho, mucha humedad y mucho olor. Entonces sigue siendo una ciudad fascinante por eso, para perderte y, y poder volver en el tiempo y, y saber cómo era. No tienes que mirar fotos ni, ni nada, simplemente te la tienes que imaginar con, yendo por sus calles y viendo, viendo las cosas. <risa> 